What's up everybody, today we're going to be looking at my top 10 decks by Illusionist. So before we get in the video, this is just my personal top 10. The basis of this top 10 list and the way they're ordered in is that they're based on the design, the handle and that sort of things like that. In at number 10 is a Keeper deck and this was created by Adam Wilbur. And you may know Adam Wilbur who's now working as Vulpine Creations. So this is a Lighthouse themed deck and it's printed on USPCC Crushed. It's also available in a red colour as well and also available in a Mark deck. And when you open the top here, it's got the Adam Wilbur and Obon Jones initials because those were the ones who designed it and brought it out. So see there's the faces of the cards and it's really nice because you get different things with the Joker. So it's a, a lighthouse theme with a fisherman on the Joker. Faces are just like standard faces when you're going through. Same as court cards, just the standard court cards that are used throughout the any USPCC deck. And that's the Ace of Spades there with the Keeper design. Really nice deck, nice and simple and the cards handle really well as would with any USPCC deck. So that is number 10 deck. Number nine is the Kingslayer cards. So these Kingslayer cards come in a massive range of different colours and this is the hot coral version. I do believe with the Kingslayers that they're all printed by Carter Mundi. Really nice tuck case with the Kingslayer there, Kingslayer on the front and on the back is the back design of the cards. So that's the card there. In this particular deck you get a, a double backer, so really good for card tricks and things. I do believe as well all of the court cards follow the same design of the actual colour of the deck as well. So I've got these ones and the Zebra Kingslayers. And again, instead of having the, the standard reds on it, it's got the coral colour, which is the the same colour as the back of the cards. like the design with the swords as well. Kind of reminds us of the Blood Kings, which is a, a deck which will be coming up later on. So you'll see what I mean. But uh, these are still really good. Of course, you get a personalised Ace of Spades as well. So this is the one from the Kingslayers. So that was my number nine deck. That's the Kingslayers. Coming in at number eight is the cards that we all know and love. And that's the Cohorts. So I think that these are one of the most popular decks on Illusionist and they're printed on the E7 stock. The good thing about these is a simplistic design which sort of looks similar to bicycle deck. So if you're performing for layer performances, they won't know any difference with it being sort of a standard looking deck. However, this deck comes with markings. So again, Cohorts Classic, really nice tuck box. Comes with the back design of the card on there as well. Like I said there, luxury pressed E7 stock. Get some really nice personal jokers as well. They are not duplicate, however, they are the same, but in a black and a red. There's also the personalized Ace of Spades as well with a cohort in the middle. And there's just an example of the court cards that you get with it as well. Standard red and black colors as well. So diamonds, it's sort of like a, it's a slightly darker red than the usual bicycle stock, but it's still a red that popped out from the deck. So again, this is the back design. It's marked in the two corners. So you've got one over here and one over here. So when you're spreading the deck, you'll be able to see what it is. You can see here, this one is the Queen of Spades, this one, King of Diamonds, if you can see that. So I can look through and see King of Hearts there. I'm not even looking at the camera, King of Diamonds. Another one there, Ace of Diamonds. And that's just looking at the back and it's super, super simple to read. Right there, spot on. If you're looking for a deck with markings, so you can do mind reading tricks and other tricks that require you to know the card without actually looking at it, then this is a really good deck for that. This is my number eight card and this is the Cohorts. Coming in at number seven is the Ignite deck. So this was the second release in the Illusionist Origin series. The first deck in the series was of course Fathom and that was Water, this one's Fire. So this is the box here, it's got the Ignite on the front with the Fire and also the back design, which is the back design of the card. Being a Fire performer, love playing with Fire, love anything to do with Fire. So obviously when I saw this deck, I had to get this. One added bonus for me is normally I like cards with borders on rather than the full design. And normally when you get a, a card with a full design, especially as dark as this one, you would get black fronts on it. So for example, one deck of cards which isn't in this top 10, which needs an honourable mention, is the Black Ghosts. So generally, when you mention Illusionist decks and personalised decks and things like that, you get the Shadow Masters, Black Ghosts, all that sort of thing. However, this is a standard bicycle deck on the back, which is black and with a border, but the fronts of them are black. And that's a personal preference of mine where I prefer the white fronts of the cards rather than the black as it's much easier to see the cards and do all the different tricks and things like that. So obviously Black Ghost and Shadow Master and stuff like that. Honorable mention, however, didn't make the top 10. But now back to the Ignite deck. And as you can see, the fronts of these are white, so perfect for me. Shame about the borderless design on the back, but I'm sure I can live with that with it being fire. And the cool thing is, on the cards, all of the pips, there's one specific pip which has got this uh, unique, intricate design. So on all the blacks and the reds, you get that specific design on one of the pips on the card. And then with these, you get the identical jokers, but one is black and one is red. So you can use them for different tricks like that. So if you want to do a transpose or something like that, it's the same design, but a different color. Really nice Ace of Spades design as well, incorporating the fire into it. And then the thing that I love as well is the court cards, how they are so different. They just look absolutely amazing. Fantastic deck. So that was my number seven deck, and that was Ignite. 
Coming in at number six is a Peter McKinnon deck, and it's a limited deck. This particular one is the purple limited deck, and really nice colors with this. So the tuck box itself is just like the cards, simple, plain, and classy. You got the design in the front where you can see some of the back design of the card. The rest of it is just plain. Obviously illusionist on the bottom, and on the, the tuck flap, you have the Peter McKinnon signature there. So the deck itself, really, really plain. It's a border design, and it's got the cross hatch in the middle there. Looks really, really classy there. And that is the Joker card that you get with it, really nice. That is the personalized Ace of Spades that you get with it as well, with the limited text on the bottom and the limited logo as the, the big ace. And the other really good thing about these is they are personalized court cards as well. So you can see there, Mr. McKinnon as the King of Hearts. And all of them have different designs on it. It's not just the standard USPCC style kings, queens, and jacks. That's another king there. The only thing that I find as a slight letdown with me is rather than having clubs and spades as blacks, they're more like a gray. So the red color is a nice deep red. However, the, the black cards are a gray color. So they're a bit more harder to see rather than having like the, the flat black that you would normally have with the playing cards. But for the deck, it still looks really, really good. Sort of keeps the, the classy aspect to it. So that was number six, and that's the limited playing cards by Peter McKinnon. We're currently halfway through the video, and we're going to go on to top five now. If you haven't already, it'd be great if you could subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, give the video a like if you like the video. In the comments below, if you leave your top three illusionist decks, I might do a video in the future with the, uh, the user recommended top three or top five. Gather all of the data, put it all together, and see what everyone else likes, rather than what I like. So let's crack on. Number five, it is the Series 1800. So this is an age slash vintage looking deck which is printed on the USPCC casino grade stock. So you get an old and rustic style looking deck, however it handles really, really good. These were available in red and blue, and the bonus thing about this is mark cards. Plus so there's a tuck box, looks like a, a standard bicycle deck apart from the Series 1800, but it's a nice worn sort of looking deck. Same with the back design, that's the actual back design of the cards as well, and it's got that vintage used look, however cards handle amazing. That's the back design there, looks like a really 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 well used card so instead of having the white border it's yellow because it looks aged and that sort of thing and the entire deck is exactly the same so when you're looking through the cards it looks like a, an old deck however handles just like a new deck again same with the court cards really really used on the front so you can still see what the card is but it looks like it's been used many many years get your duplicate jokers as well which are used again so they look vintage and of course your ace of spades there so in this blue deck, I also got a duplicate card, which is a red back queen of hearts. So you can see the red design there of it. What I'm gonna do, just gonna riffle through the deck and you should be able to see a difference when you flick through. So that shows the markings for the marked deck. So see when you learn that, then you can know exactly what card it is just by looking at the back. And when the spectator picks up a card and just looks at it, you won't be able to see any markings for any numbers or suits or something like that because they're not there. It's all to do with the scratches. So if you're looking for a deck of cards where you want to tell a story with it, where you got the cards from a grandfather or something like that and got into magic, then this is a deck for that. If you want just something old and rustic looking, then also the deck for that. And that was number five. That's a series 1800. In at number four, it's a Madison McKinnon collaboration, and this is the Blood Kings. Again, it's a nice simple tuck box, and like I was saying earlier with the King Slayers, it's got the sword and the axe on it. On the top, it's got the Madison McKinnon collaboration. It's also got on the sides, live like kings, die like kings. Such a simple and elegant looking tuck box and deck as well. So the back of these, so it's the border design with the red colouring and the axe and the sword on there on the design for the back of the cards. So when you flick through, you can have just a plain red deck, or when you flick through there, you have that other, the logo. You get the two jokers, so you have the sword and the ax, which is representing of McKinnon and Madison. The deck, when you get a fresh, comes in a mnemonica stack. So if you keep that stack, then you'll be able to use that for any mnemonica mem deck tricks. So the cards themselves, the black is a standard black and the red is a slightly more darker red than the usual bright red USPC style. Again, we have Peter McKinnon as the king of hearts there and all of the other court cards are personalized as well. So there we have King of Diamonds, that's Daniel Madison. And there's a personalized Ace of Spades as well. Think Like Kings. You also get your double backer, and also a duplicate Queen of Hearts. So that is number four on my list, and that's the Blood Kings. Number three in the list is another Madison deck, and this is the Madison Rounders. These come in a variety of different colors. So you've got your blacks, your greens, your pinks. There's a nice gold one as well, because I, I really love white and gold cards. But for this review, I'm going to be using the pink ones. So again, another really simplistic design and a really nice top box to go with it. So in the front, it's got the Rounders logo and says designed by Dynamite and Illusionist. The back is the back of the cards. And again, just sort of playing on the side. And on the top, it says Madison Rounders. 
The cards themselves are a border design. You've got the nice pink colour with the two logos, so no matter which way you have the deck, it's going to be the same. And obviously the border that goes with it. So you're flicking through, it looks really nice. You get the duplicate jokers, but with different colours on it. So it's a black one and a pink one. And that's the personalised Ace of Spades that come with it. It's the Madison Rounders. Really, really looks like a casino deck and a casino style on the front with the Ace of Spades. And as it's printed on USPCC, all the other things are standard colours and design with the, the pips on it. And a little ad card that you get in with it, advertising the Madison playing cards. And as you know, the, he's developed hundreds and hundreds of different decks, so yeah. So that was number three, and that's the Madison Rounders. Coming in at number two is the Crossed Keys deck by Peter Turner. This is such a really, really nice looking deck. And again, the bonus thing about it is the cards are marked. So if you want to do any mentalist or mind reading tricks where you use the deck of cards where you need to know a card without actually looking at the face of it and without getting a peek or anything like that, these are really spot on for that. These are done by Peter Turner and Oban Jones. Tuck is really nice. It's got a really nice matte finish to it. And obviously you've got the gold design on the back. There's loads of different intricate details on the tuck case as well. So really good so on the back it's a really nice gold and green design it's got a mixture of skulls and keys and everything else in there really nice jokers as well so you get the the one with the padlock already padlocked up and one where it's opened with the keys so you can use that for any sort of magic tricks as well really nice ace of spades as well all personalized for the cross keys so for the first edition of these, I do believe they were printed on Carter Monday E7 and the new ones are printed on USPCC Crush Stock. The thing about these cards as well is the pips on the inside are actually smaller than normal so that you get quite a lot of white space. So you can use that if you want to do any billet tricks or get a spectator to sign it. There's more white space so they can use for that. For the court cards, it's still falling on with that green and gold design as well. So it looks really nice that. So the red cards have a red design and there's also a black outline around the pips then the court cards are the same, so they have the red design with the pips with the black around it and also following on with the green and gold design of the overall cards. The other thing which I love about these cards is you actually get a true and false card. So you can use that for mentalism and other magic tricks where you want to do a prediction where it's going to be true or false or something like that. Really good addition. And also when you buy the deck of cards, you get a, a PDF with it, which also shows you the markings for the deck. So if you want to learn the markings, then you need to read the PDF but just having a quick flick through there. I'll just move that into the light and just having a quick flick through there. You may be able to see some discrepancies in the design, which shows you where the actual markings are. The markings are really, really easy to learn and to look at and just be, see, be able to flick through and know what particular card that is at the time. That is number two, and that is the Cross Keys deck by Peter Turner. So after much deliberating and deciding what was gonna be number one, this is my choice. This is the Knights deck. So this is a deck by Daniel Madison and Chris Ramsey. Uh, this is a, a chess theme deck, which is really, really nice. And these are the V2 of them, and they are pressed on the luxury E7 stock. I've also got a copy of the red one as well, which is the V1, but for me personally, I love white cards with gold designs on them, so that's how to get it. Another simplistic tuck box, so the design on the front with knights and on the back is the chest design and not much else on it apart from the illusionist bump. Inside you get the really nice chest design, so you get the checkerboard and the, uh, the playing piece. There's the back of the cards as well. Looks a bit complex, but it's not really, it's just all the chest designs facing different ways and things like that, so it looks really, really nice, especially with the, the gold on the white. Like I said, a really, really sucker for those kind of designs with playing cards with gold designs on them. So you have the duplicate joker with the crow and the chest pieces on them. Also have the modified ace space, which is the knight and it's got Madison and Ramsey on there. Again, the faces of these cards are similar to the cross keys where they have the smaller pips on the inside so it leaves more space so you can get spectators to write on the white space and things like that. On the core cards, they keep up the gold design as well so it's black and gold for spades and clubs and really, really nice uh, core cards there. The red cards in here are actually gold and they have the black outline as well similar to the cross keys when on the faces when they had the red cards there. And of course, King of Diamonds, you have Daniel Madison there. And same with that, it has the gold design rather than the red design. There's the King of Hearts, which is the uh, Chris Ramsey card. You also get these little cards. One is for Chris Ramsey, one's for Daniel Madison. It's got their favourite playing cards on, so the Four Spades and Nine of Clubs. So if you want to force these for a, a card reveal or something like that, then you can do. So that was my number one deck, and that is the Knights playing cards. Hope you enjoyed my top 10 rundown for these Illusionist decks. Got a lot more videos coming up in the future as well, so I'm going to do the top 10 Theory 11 decks and loads of other top 10s and top 5 lists, so if you're interested in those, let me know. 
Of course, as per usual, if you haven't subscribed, it'd be really good if you could subscribe to the channel, help build that, help build the community, and obviously I'll be getting more videos out soon. And over my shoulder, there's a related video, so if you're interested in watching one of those, click on that, follow that through, and watch more content. Until next time, see ya.